Good morning everyone, this is Corey from Tales from a Polk County Girl and in this video I'm going to show off what I honestly can say is I know I have another video called DIY Mini Flex. This one literally is DIY because it is made out of a placemat. I have a viewer on YouTube who in the comments has uh, she made a comment about how the ring mechanism on a standard Mead Flex binder, this, she doesn't like how it's D rings and they actually are, move this, the rings aren't like completely round and she doesn't like that it catches. I'm also assuming uh, this person is a she and that's very wrong of me if uh, you are not female or um, and don't wish to identify as such, I completely apologize. I honestly can't tell from your YouTube handle, so my massive apologies. So, anyways, this viewer was talking, it said something about, well, I might try to make one, you know, using those binder rings and everything, binder rings like this, and I told them I have a video I, I have, I think, what you're talking about. That video is coming up, I promise. So I've promised this particular video for that viewer for um, a few weeks now. So here it is. And this is literally uh, a mini flex that I've made out of placemats from the Dollar Tree, duck cloth fabric that I sewed very horribly on there. And you see the holes here, and you see the rings are through holes there. I wasn't paying attention at the time when I punched the holes, so these holes don't line up accurately like these ones do. So what I did was I figured out where the holes actually needed to be, and I scored it with a knife. This is after the fact. This is like after I sewed it and everything. Um, because before I sewed this on, I had punched the holes. So, and then I just stabbed through the fabric with a um, seam ripper. That's the word, seam ripper. And then I just use the binder. They're, I think they're called binder rings. I refer to them as those rings that you hold index cards together, together with. I'm not entirely sure what these things are called. But anyways, you can find them at Walmart, the Dollar Tree, anywhere like that. But the placemat, this, both placemats, because I think they're different. Yes, they are. The back one is, you know, grape leaves and vines. The front one is coffee and clocks. I bought these, and they're foam placemats too, so they're like thick. I bought them at the Dollar Tree with the intent of, you know, just experimenting and making a couple of these. This is, I think I ended up making three. Yes, three, because this is from the leftover bits. No, I ended up making four, I lie. Four of them, because this is from the leftover bits from two different placemats, obviously. This coffee pla placemat one, the one that has both the coffee placemat on both the front and the back, for the life of me, I can't remember who I gave that to. I probably gave it to my mother. And then the other one, the grape leaves and everything, again, I can't remember who I gave that one to. Did I give it to Tiffy? Don't remember. Anyway, it's not important, not relevant. So then I made these, and, uh, and when I made this one, until it got damaged right there. This was the worst one of them all in terms of sewing because, <laughs> yeah, I just, I made the mistake of sewing from this angle and not, my cuts weren't straight and all that. It It's a prototype, essentially, and prototypes always look like crap. Um, so I kept this one for myself, and I actually had another one. I said I made four, and I've discussed three, th or yeah, two of unknown giftage. I have no idea who I gave them to. This one. And then the fourth one, 
Yeah, I think I did give one of the other ones to my mom because her dog got a hold of it and destroyed it. Yeah. So the fourth one, the one that was made actually from a very thick plastic vinyl-y placemat that um, wasn't very pretty. It was just the placemat was cheap and I knew I could make something out of it, you know, as you do. So I gave that one to her recently. Um, the day we filmed the Monster Fle Mom's Monster Flex video is when I gave her the other one. If the dog eats that one, I'm not making her another one because, yeah, I'm just not. So, all I did was I cut the placemats. Uh, I think I did eight and a half, yeah, eight and a half, or five and a half across, eight and a half down, or it was six across, nine down. So, it's roughly the same size as this thing if not exactly the same size. I mean, it's a little taller and everything. Um, actually, yeah, so eight, six across, nine down. So the measurements I give you to make this, I used for this, all right? So I'm sorry about the confusion. And then I would hole punch my if I may ever make one of these again, I'm going to line it up properly, make sure my holes are in the proper spot, spot and then I punch it with a three hole punch. I did that on the back as well. And as you can see, I did the wrong side. I had some fun. Yeah, this one really was the prototype because I borrowed a leather punch from someone to see if the three hole, if I needed to actually buy a leather punch or if a three hole punch would work. I have a heavy duty three hole punch and guess what, the three hole punch worked. So then for the duck cloth, the duck cloth as any good sewist will tell you, iron your fabric and measure it uh, before you cut it, that way you have straight lines or else you're going to end up like me. I didn't do that, I ended up cutting a strip. That was probably, I'm looking at how it, it was probably two and a half inches wide, maybe three inches wide. I ended up cutting a strip, and the back is actually a lot neater than the front, if you look at my lines. And the way I held this on here, since, um, and we'll go through the contents of this in a minute, the way I held this on here actually wasn't straight pins. I actually used binder clips, you know, like the little alligator clips. And it worked pretty well. I mean, you know, it was kind of awkward sewing it. And yeah, I should have cut this straight and made this a straight line and it wouldn't look so bad, but what's done is done. All right. So if you're pretty handy with a sewing machine and you're willing to use uh, the thread I used, I used upholstery thread and a denim needle. So a needle made for going through denim fabric, so a heavy duty needle. And upholstery thread is thicker and stronger, so upholstery thread. And then I just, very simply, because I didn't know what I was going to use this for, it has become a dump notebook. Um, I made some very quick file f or dividers out of file folders with plastic tabs. Again, this isn't the prettiest thing. Um, notes that I've made, pen tests, and this is all scratch paper that I had laying around. Um, I'm not entirely sure what that's about. This is a divider that came out of Flex. Um, lyrics and story ideas for a story that I may one day write more paper, another divider, more paper. And it was just cheap notepad paper. So you can, honest to God, make your own flex binder instead of cutting down a mead flex, bind, 
flex binder if you wish okay so it's completely up to you I don't know if I'll ever do an actual tutorial on how to do this that would require editing software and um, a different camera setup but if you if anybody who wants to make this if you have someone in your life who does so and is very good and very creative at helping fix uh, figure those things out by all means work with them the materials to make this were actually cheap I already had the duck cloth on hand from another project I've always had a I always have upholstery thread the placemats themselves were a dollar each so that's two dollars right there and then a pack of these binder rings, index card rings, whatever you want to call them. These vary in price depending on size and quantity that you get. So these are the big two inch ones. And it depends on what size you want to make. All right. So this doing a half sheet size isn't your only option. I taught a class. I did a project day at the local fiber guild that I used to be a member of. And we made full size, like composition uh, sheet size ones, where we just cut the placemats in half. And I brought my sewing machine in because it was portable, and I sewed everything. And my friend Ann uh, hole punched them for me. She did the cutting of the placemats and the punching of them for me, and I and the the fabric was already cut. And I just sat there sewing them, sewing, 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 sewing. So, yeah. It is possible. So, you're only limited by your imagination. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Uh, I hope this has been helpful to my YouTube viewer who was thinking about doing this with a placemat and these rings. I hope this is what you were thinking of and I hope this video was helpful. And once again, if I got your gender wrong, I apologize. So I will see you guys later. Have a nice day. Bye.